Hey, Chef Cody here with 360 Catering Events YouTube channel. It's National Cheese Lovers Day. Man, it's one of my favorite days. I am a rat. Hey, so what we want to do today is make a mac and cheese. I'm going to show you the simplest, easiest, cheesiest way to do it. I'm going to have, I'm going to adult it a little bit. I'm going to do a little sauteed bacon here. I've got a little white tr truffle oil. Now party until something is broken, right guys? So what we're gonna do is turn on my stove. So about medium heat. I'm gonna add my cream in. I'm gonna let that go for a second. Get it nice and hot. Can't melt your cheese unless you have hot, hot, hot milk. Over here, I'm gonna check on my bacon. See that bacon's getting that nice, almost brownish maple color to it. That's when you know it's just about done. And you hear that sizzling? Oh man. Who doesn't love bacon? If you don't, don't come to my house because I don't. I'm not going to serve you. Just not going to do it. I'm going to turn that off so we don't have that keep cooking. We, now we got the, the cream bubbling up a little bit. We're going to add in a little mozzarella. That adds a nice creaminess to it. Parmigiana for that nutty flavor. and cheddar for that sharpness that you want. As you see, there's no Velveeta in my recipe and never will be. If you can't make a nice creamy mac and cheese without Velveeta, then you just need to keep on watching this video over and over. We're gonna let this melt. melt. Once the cheese gets melted, you want to kind of give that thickness to it. Now here's the part where I'm going to add a little more cheese because I, I can tell it's going to need it. It's, too, it's still too a little too creamy or too liquidy, if you will. Of course it's creamy. It's got cream in it. So see, you get that nice little color that's coming around. I'm going to add my bacon into this because I want my bacon uh, juices all in there too. I'm going to add our pasta in. Just a hint on pasta, after you've done your pasta, make sure you put a little oil in the pasta so it won't stick together. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's getting, oh, see that cheesiness? See that cheesiness? Oh, that's what you want. Now I have to take my my whisk out and use my spoon because it's just too cheesy. I'm gonna add just a, take it off the flame. I'll add just a little bit of truffle oil. Not too much, it goes a long way. If you want to at this point, you can taste it a little bit, see if you want a little extra in there. See what you want to do with it. Man, this is one of my favorite things to do. I like it where it's not so thick. If you want to thick it up a little bit, just let it go, all, go a little longer on the, on the stove. Man, I wish I could smell what I got cooking here. Look at all that bacon. And I put a lot of it in there. You can't have bacon mac and cheese without a lot of bacon. Well, there you go. When you're ready for your kids to have a more proper mac and cheese, or you're on a date night, cooking for your woman, that's what you do. Bacon mac and cheese with a little truffle oil on it, you can't go wrong. If you have a little bit bigger pockets, go for the real truffles, they're always better. You can get my recipes at 360cateringandevents.com and we're always here for you for your next menu that you're gonna have next little party. Thank you very much and have a great day.